Roads to Carbon Neutral, presented by Total Energies. Hello, I'm Emma Crosby. Welcome to the Roads to Carbon Neutral. In this edition, we'll look at wind power and the role it has to play in helping us reach a carbon neutral future. As an emissions-free energy source, wind is one of the fastest growing forms of renewable power. The global wind power market has nearly quadrupled in size over the past decade. Today, there are approximately 750 gigawatts of wind power capacity worldwide, helping to avoid over a billion tonnes of CO2. We're expecting about 470 gigawatts of new wind power growth over the next five years alone. And just to put that into perspective, that's equivalent to around two thirds of total global wind capacity installed today, which took around 40 years to build and get to this point. So wind is the most important in our strategy for renewables. As of today, we have more than 1.5 gigawatt of onshore wind facilities. This represents approximately 500 wind turbine generators. So that's quite a big number, but we are not going to stop there. Two years ago, we have also de started developing an offshore wind activity. Global offshore wind capacity is projected to increase 15-fold by 2040, becoming a trillion dollar industry over the next two decades. For offshore wind to get more traction, we need to continue to invest in the technologies, in our port facilities, in our vessels for the construction, but also the operation. Thanks to innovation in wind power, the global energy industry is truly feeling the winds of change. It's an incredibly exciting time for the wind industry and it's truly booming across the globe in developed and developing economies alike. In less than 10 years, Total Aaron, 30% owned by Total Energies, has built a strong portfolio of renewable energy projects. Tatao Erin is active on all continents with 3.5 gigawatts of renewable energy assets in operation or under construction in 19 countries. This impressive global infrastructure includes over 1.4 gigawatts of wind power. Greece has also become a successful location for Total Erin. We joined the team at the South Evia Island in Greece to get a better view of the company's operations. In Greece today, Total Eren owns 14 wind farms in operation with a total installed capacity of 265 megawatts. These wind farms are producing annually around 750 gigawatt hours of low carbon electricity, enough to save about 500 kilotons of CO2 emissions per year. The biggest challenge when operating a wind farm is to ensure a high system availability, especially on difficult weather conditions when most of the faults appear. Wind power is one of the cornerstones of green recovery and I believe it will play a very important role in the global energy transition. Wind turbines come in many designs, but the most common is the so-called horizontal axis kind, which look like giant fans on poles. This type of turbine is highly efficient at turning the energy in the wind into electrical energy. They've been gaining in size over the years. Today, tower heights are usually in the range of 150 meters. Typically, onshore turbines have blades between 40 and 90 meters long. The larger the radius of the rotor blades, the more wind the blades can use to turn into torque force that drives the electrical generators in the hub. Wind turbines are designed for a nominal lifespan of minimum 20 years. The wind industry has sharpened its uh, simulation tools year by year in order to be able to compute the lifetime of each component, even the smallest ones like uh, bolts and nuts under load. If you apply innovation in using better materials, using better design tools, better processes, engineers and scientists have been very creative and very successful in making blades lighter and lighter and better and better. For many countries, fixing wind turbines to the seabed isn't feasible. Floating structures allow wind energy to be harnessed far at sea and in deep waters. 
Total Energy's targets 35 gigawatts of renewable generation capacity in 2025, a 100 gigawatt gross capacity by 2030, and a place in the top five global renewable energy companies. Total Energies and IFP New Energies are working on a research development program to analyse how floating wind turbines behave and how they can be improved. Being an energy major and having oil and gas offshore operations offers several competitive advantages for offshore wind. The main one being that we are used to designing, building and operating industrial facilities offshore in very harsh environments. And uh, the second point being that we have an international geographical footprint. We are one of the major gas operators offshore in North Sea, and this is the main region where offshore wind is taking place. We are going further and further off the coast, uh, reaching areas where the wind is blowing uh, stronger and, with, uh, and is more stable. And the new frontier of offshore wind is to imagine how we can put turbines on floating devices. And this is where Total Energies in particular is, fo is focusing his, his interest. Wind power is a clean source of energy and also one of the cheapest way to produce electricity, making it a viable energy solution for developing economies. I'm here at Lekela Wind Farm in Taibanjai, Senegal. It's West Africa's biggest wind farm at scale. The project is Senegal's first utility scale wind energy project and aligns with the government's strategy to increase clean energy production and diversify Senegal's energy mix. I met with Marcel Sissé, General Manager at Lekela, to discuss how the wind farm provides energy security for the region. The Parque Eolia in Taibajai is a 158 megawatt wind farm. It represents 15% of the country's power production capacity. So it's a pretty important project for the energy mix of Senegal. So we estimated that this wind farm will touch about 2 million people. The benefit when it comes to power is providing power to people who did not have power before, whether it's a hospital, whether it's a school, whether it's an industry. This project impacts positively the community that we invest in. As we've seen, the growing wind power sector has a significant role to play when it comes to achieving net zero carbon emissions by 2050. If you'd like to find out more, please visit roads2carbonneutral.com. Thank you for watching and goodbye. The Roads to Carbon Neutral, presented by Total Energies.